This is a four bone standing rib roast. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to cover this whole thing with it. This thing is thick. That is a beautiful piece of meat and it is going to be perfect for our experiment. The all there's left to do is to season them and for that I started with a little bit of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder, nothing else. As always I made sure to season both sides including the edges. But now that we have the steak ready, now all there's left to do is to grill them. I'm first going to be putting a beautiful sear on them and then cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's do it. Sear the steak until you get a nice beautiful golden color. I recommend flipping it as many times as necessary. Flipping the steak several times will keep it from burning and instead of getting black char, you'll get that beautiful Maillard reaction like this. So flip as many times as necessary. Once you reach your desired color, set your stove to low heat. This is what it looks like. That, friends, is something you do not see every day. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. What do you think, Angel? Huh? They look like beautiful steaks this time, yes. This time they look beautiful. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes he will open and he'll say, we have our beautiful steaks. And I'll look and I'll just think about it like, nope. no, that's not beautiful. That's a me. terrible statement sometimes. I agree with him, especially when you have crazy footage just like this, everybody. You don't want to have that kind of steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to find out the taste. You ready, Angel? Now he's scared. All right, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's different. Oh, I don't like that. But I'll tell you one thing you will make your belly happy. Excuse me.